in this problem, we're going to need to figure out which of the measures of central tendency, which there's four options here, did they use, the company use, when they said that their car gas mileage is 42 miles per gallon. The first thing we need to do is to figure out the miles per gallon for each of these cars. All right, so you're going to do that by taking the miles driven and dividing it by the gallons. So 312 uh, divided by 8, and that gives us the first one, which is 39. And then the next one, we have 320 divided by 8 is 40. I can write that a little better, 39. And the next one, and we have 246 divided by 6 is 41. And the next one is 294 divided by 7 is 42. And the last one again is 297, uh, 294 divided by 7, so we don't even have to do the math on that one. We know what it is. All right, so we've calculated the miles per gallon for each of these cars. Let's figure out the mean. The mean just means the average. So the average means we're going to add them up. So let's add the, all of those up. So 39 plus 40 plus 41 plus. 42 plus 42. And that gives me 204. And to find the average, we take the total and we divide by the number. So divide by 5, and that gives us 40.8. So 40.8 is the mean, which is not going to be 42 miles per gallon. Let's uh, let's look at the uh, median next for a moment. To find the median we're, median, we're looking at the one directly in the middle. So to find that, you're going to want to line them up, your MPGs, from smallest to largest in order. Well, we're lucky it actually works out that way in this. If not, you would need to rearrange them. And we're also lucky that there's an odd number. Since there's an odd number, we, we just look at the one in the middle. There's two on top, two to the bottom, 41. That's the median, 41. 41 is not 42, so that's not the one they're looking at. Had there been an even number, you would take the two in the middle, add them together, and divide by two, which is just finding the, um, the average of the two. All right, and finally, not finally, but the next is the mode. The mode is which one occurs most often. So we only have 139, we only have 140, we only have 41, but we have two 42s. That looks pretty good. Standard deviation is just going to talk about how spread out the data is. Well, this is not going to be anywhere near 42 spread out. Standard deviation you'll see in later problems, but in this case, mode's the correct answer.